Prime Minister of Mongolia, Oyungirdin, opened the Mongolia-Korea Business Forum in Seoul on February 14th and made opening remarks. The Mongolian National Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Chamber of Commerce of the Republic of Korea jointly organized the Mongolia-Korea Business Forum, which was attended by over 70 representatives from 58 enterprises on the Mongolian side, and the Korean side was represented by over 100 public and private sector organizations. I sincerely hope that the upcoming 30 years will become years of full cooperation between investors, entrepreneurs, representatives of the private sector, and citizens, as well as bringing together people in the field of culture, arts, and tourism beyond government-level relations. As I mentioned before, we have a wide range of possibilities to cooperate in the field of rare earth metals and mining. In a month from now, Mongolia will put into operation the Oyutalra underground mine. Mongolia will have the fourth biggest copper mine in the world. Therefore, we cordially invite you to the opening ceremony of the new underground mine. Furthermore, Mongolia has the potentials to discover and mine the next, second, third and fourth large-scale mines in the copper industry. The Oyutalai Agreement was a testament to upholding mutually beneficial cooperation with our partner countries correctly from the beginning. Of course, there were problematic issues, and we took a lot of steps to protect the interests of Mongolia. Ultimately, the investment environment became healthier and more steady due to the decision of the state Great Horal. Moreover, we are intensifying bilateral cooperation in other mining fields such as rare earth metals and uranium. My official visit is taking place at this critical time when South Korea has submitted its candidature for hosting World Expo 2030. I would like to announce that we decided to support South Korea's candidature to host World Expo 2030. During the forum, the sides openly exchanged views on barriers and obstacles that our two countries have faced in expanding and developing business and economic cooperation and discussed issues on intensifying the economic relations, in particular in mining, travel, tourism, banking, finance and communication sectors. The South Korean side emphasize that they will support advancing cooperation between private sectors to a new level and expressed willingness to cooperate in extracting and processing the rare earth minerals, copper and fluor spar. Organizing the Mongolia-Korea Business Forum is of high significance to provide the representatives of the Korean private sector with detailed information on the Mongolian economy and investment climate and increase the benefit of the economic partnership agreement between the two countries.